Hey everybody, remember if you had the same ideologies as someone like me, if you thought that Fauci was, you know, not telling the truth, or that this whole lockdown and, you know, the, the mandates were happening for a specific reason and it's not about the science and that science changes and that it's not always correct and they shouldn't be having these mandates or these lockdowns? And we were called conspiracy theorists for it, remember? Well, it turns out, conspiracy theorists these days, it's just a, it's a new word for being correct. Because Fauci has got caught lying about literally everything he said. He's just, he's admitted it in the past, especially in the past few days. I mean, he's already lied about the gain-of-function research. Rand Paul was asking him a question about that under oath, and Fauci lied. So there was no gain-of-function research, then we find out there is, of course. And now, apparently there, there's no... <laughs> there's no evidence or any studies that have been done proving that masks or social distancing works. Nothing. So, isn't that interesting how we were, you know, we were all told all these things about, oh, you're a science denier and you're not doing this correctly and you're hurting people, you're killing people. It was all pseudoscience. We also now know that the vaccine is nowhere close to 100% effective. It's about 20% effective. Oh, good enough, they say. Good enough. No, you were lied to. You were duped. You should be mad. Now, they want to throw Trump in jail, okay? So, Fauci recommended um, lockdowns, right? And mandates, which people got hurt from. Some people even died from it. People died because of the consequences of the lockdowns. Oh, we didn't know at the time. No, you're right. You didn't know. Only the us conspiracy theorists knew. Man, all of us dumb science deniers, we really just, we hit the nail on the head, didn't we? Look at all, I'm not going to go over the, the entire list. You can check it for yourselves if you don't believe me. Every single issue that was already a problem skyrocketed. Domestic violence, mental health, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, etc., etc., etc. They all skyrocketed, and of course that's going to kill people. Where's his crimes? Or where, his where are his charges? Where's his indictment? Where's his indictment? He lied under oath. That's not legal. Isn't that interesting though, huh? And I just want to read a little bit here from um, the Toronto Sun. Because they were covering this a little bit today. And by the way, there's lots of sources here. You can cover this, um, or that have covered this. So I just want to have a, a quick read here. I'm just going to read you some quotes where he said... He told the council that he believed the theory that COVID began with a leak at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. According to committee transcripts, when pressed on how the rule came about, the Daily Mail reported. He said, I think people have made a conspiracy theorist aspect from it, he said, adding it could be a lab leak. Remember when it was caused by bats in the wet market? Remember that horseshit? He continued, so I think that in... in and of itself isn't inherently a conspiracy theory, but some people spin off things from the from that are kind of crazy. However, in 2020, Fauci supported a report called the Proximal Origin that slammed the lab leak theory. Oh, interesting. Also shocking was that he admitted to counsel that he didn't remember how the six-foot social distancing rules came from. And I quote, You know, I don't recall. It just sort of appeared. Remember all the sheep when they were saying that this was this the horse shit was all backed by science? <laughs> there's still there's still people who wear masks, by the way. It's unbelievable. Fauci added, he was not aware of studies that supported the social distancing, conceding that such studies would be very difficult to do. Then he quotes, Do you even do you recall reviewing any studies or data supporting masking for children? He was asked, sorry. To which he responded, I might have, but I don't recall specifically that I did. Which means no. It, th that's what that means. It, it means no. As far as whether masking children was right, the right way to prevent transmission, he answered, I still think that's up in the air. You were saying this was science. You were saying anyone who disagreed with you or didn't comply with it was dangerous. When people didn't want to get the vaccine and there was mandates... Joe Biden, Cuomo, Don Lemon, every mainstream, left-wing mainstream media outlet was basically saying, well, we shouldn't have to, 
you know, let these people in the hospital, if they get sick, if they don't want to get a vaccine or wear a mask. Because they thought it was all pure, just science-based, right? They thought it was 100% 100 correct. How long can we tolerate these people? We're losing our patience. You know who uses quotes like, how long can we tolerate a certain type of people? Fascists, communists, and dictators. And not, you'll, not, you'll never see one of these sheep apologize. And they'll even still argue to the day that it was science. Even though it's been admitted, it's not now. They'll still argue it, I bet. It, it's hilarious. <laughs> Can you just, three years. And how many lives were destroyed because they because they locked their they locked people in their houses. People lost businesses. People lost jobs. Yeah, you got served, but some people may have got more, some people may have got less. Well, that's a huge problem if you got a mortgage and now all of a sudden you're making you know, you were making three grand a month and now you're getting two. That's, that's difficult. People lost houses because of that eventually. People were put on the streets eventually. Poverty has gone up. These are all the effects that people like me were saying during and before. You could see the numbers. They were right there. But you were too busy, wa busy watching CNN's death tracker. They kept a death tracker for how many people died with and from COVID. Not just from COVID, with and from. They never segregated those numbers either. But drug abuse, people who were you know, hurting themselves, everything went up. Everything went up. Keep a tracker of that. They didn't. Why? Because they didn't give a shit if you knew or not. In fact, they probably would prefer if you didn't know. Anyway, before I go on a complete tirade here, I mean, it's just it's so infuriating to see it. I mean, I don't know if you saw the Chris Cuomo and Dave Smith debate, but I mean, the, Dave Smith just ran Cuomo over and proved him wrong time and time again about all this horseshit that happened during the pandemic. And there's lots of theories as to why they did it. But to keep people safe was not a reason. And it wasn't backed by science. So it was none of those reasons. We know that now. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I really, I'm really curious to, think what you, uh, to hear what you guys think. And uh, don't forget to uh, hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.